Those are the sounds of warning shots being fired in Yakabiga. It's one of the Bujumbura neighborhoods that's seen weeks of protests. Ahead of the failed coup just days ago, the army insisted it was a neutral force. Not so any longer. Police are keeping a low profile, so the army is in charge of internal security. The small groups of protesters who came out on Monday were nervous, with the soldiers keeping a close eye on them. Heavy gunfire could be heard in the capital overnight, but the imposed calm now seems to be holding. President Pierre Nkurunzinza made a rare public appearance at the weekend. In his address, he remained silent on the political crisis in the country. Instead, he focused on the threat of Somali militant group Al-Shabaab, a threat the group has since denied making. Meanwhile, more countries have been calling for a delay in elections. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta is the latest. Well, for now, though, the uncertainty continues, with Bujumbura's mayor warning on national TV that the government will continue to crack down on the protests and that demonstrators will be considered as part of the coup. Security forces, he says, will treat them as such. Jane Keo, CCTV, Bujumbura, Burundi.